Well, I suppose I could. Yeah. Well, this is it, isn't it? I mean, isn't it though? I mean, it is, isn't it? When you think about it, it is. All right, Beck. Lisa's got something to tell you. Are you pregnant? <laughs> You know, but you don't like to say, oh, dear, you... <laughs> I'm not pregnant. I think, um, I think I, I need some glasses. Really, really big ones. Instead of sitting in on your hen night... <laughs> well, because I was just saying that, you know, you weren't planning on having a hen night. I mean, you were just going to sit in with Alien Roy watching DVDs. Watch it down, for example. So I was saying to Liz, and she was saying... Why don't I take you and Hayley out for a special dinner somewhere? Right. But, uh, no, no buts. I mean, Steve's going to have a stag do, is he not? He is. And what good is sitting all alone in your room? Exactly. Put down your knitting, you're booking your broom. <clears throat> I love Liza. <laughs> Thing is, I I've already planned this night, you see. In fact, I love all the Lizas. Manelli, Tarbuck. <clears throat> Uroff, give us a clue. Well, you could have a DVD night one night and then night out with me the next. Well, I suppose. Yeah, unless the thought of a night out with Liz fills you with dread. Not at all. I think we've got loads in common, me and the Lizzie Lips. <laughs> right. Oh. Actually, Lloyd, can I just have a quick word with you in the back? Oh, me? Unless you know somebody else called Lloyd. Do it then. I don't know. She's usually vile to me. Hates the idea of me marrying a precious son. Come on, why is she suddenly being so nice? Maybe she's mellowing with age. Hey, I might bob along with you. Back to the veil. 